you know at the beginning of the movie it's, it's going to be an hour and a half. You know, at the end of an hour and a half, I'm done. But with a game, you don't necessarily know how long it's going to go on. So, you know, we can continue to scare them for a long time. Dead Space is a new, all new uh, third person horror game that we're working on here at Electronic Arts. It takes place uh, in the future and uh, primarily takes place on a huge mining spaceship. Gameplay wise, we are definitely, I would say, a survival of horror. And it's, those have always got a bunch of shooter inside of them. I think we will differ a lot from the survival horror games because we are in sci-fi. And it gives us the chance to uh, have different types of weapons, different types of aliens. Obviously we're on a, on a spaceship and we're out in the future. Whereas a lot of the horror games that are out now um, seem to take place in present day. Started with uh, Glenn Schofield, the EP, he had um, a vision for a game that he was all excited about. Um, and he wanted to do a prison game <laughs> in space, and I think he wanted to even call it, uh, I think he wanted to call it Moon Wars or something. Uh, no, it wasn't called uh, Moon Wars, it was, uh, yeah, Rancid Moon, that's right, yes. Um, it was sort of like uh, Escape from New York on another planet. And uh, we were like, okay, we got the space part, we're down with that. I'm not so sure about the prisoner part. We've been on Team Street with each other for a long time. And we would sort of go to movies or go to other sort of, see other horror games and be like, ah, this, did you see what that thing did? And that was, that was crazy. Uh, and then we go back to work on like our rated T for Teen game and sort of like, yeah, we'd love to make that someday. And we'd sort of toss it around at lunch and stuff like that, but never really thought we'd get a chance. It started a little over two years ago just felt like it was the right time to go and uh, you know talk to the general manager and uh, president of the company about making our own IP. Glenn decided that it was it was now or never so he went to the bosses he was like look I got my guys we're all together we really want to do this give us a little time let me show you what you got. And this is just basically uh, the type of project we wanted to work on for years and years. So we all um, got together and thought a lot about it, and, and the basic tenements were there. It was going to be a scary horror survival game in space. You play Isaac Clark, who is a engineer who gets thrown into a pretty crazy and intense situation. Um, we wanted the, uh, the protagonist to be um, very relatable and very much like an everyman and very not like a space marine. He's not all loaded out. To be scared, you really have to believe the world. Because if it's all like force fields and lasers, you're like, whatever, I don't, I can't even get this. It's all just sort of fantasy. The first thing that we did was, uh, I remember the president saying to me, uh, okay, you can, you can take your 18 people, you know, pick your, pick your people, give me the list, and, uh, you know, we'll give you six months. And uh, I think it was important to us not to come out with a dock at the end of the six months. It was, uh, what we really wanted to do was sort of put something in their hands to play. That just buys you a huge, huge amount of confidence. And I'd say that's almost single-handedly the reason that we got to be greenlit, is we did a very thick and detailed vertical slice. If you look at the stacks of like a cake, right, you, you take the slice and you get all the little stacks. So you get the cake part, you get the frosting part, you get all the other little parts, and you get an idea what the whole cake's gonna be like. So that's why they call it the vertical slice. We wanted to create about 10 minutes of gameplay, but we wanted it to be complete gameplay, not just like a smoke and mirrors demo where it's sort of faked and you're not really seeing a, a true representation of the software. That was the biggest thing is to come out with something we say, here, here, instead of pictures, here, just play it. By the end of that, it was only 15 minutes, but it was really good and really scary and fun and we still had a year and a half before we had to finish it theoretically. When we figured out that we could scare people, like, like scaring people's really hard. But to see someone for the first time pick it up and then jump or scream or yell, I mean, those are great moments. The first time it really sort of came together for me was uh, the first time we, we turned off the gravity. Uh, you know, there's been plenty of games before that have done horror or done other sorts of things, but the first time you, we turned off the gravity in the game and it and it really worked. And like you could, you could walk over stuff and come around the other sort of side and there was bad guys that were, that were upside down and there was blood that sort of came out of a thing and it just sort of floated away in globs. I was just like, oh, okay guys, we're onto something. Like this is pretty good. I'd like people to walk away and uh, think that that was the scariest video game they've ever played. That it was new, it was fresh, but that it scared the crap out of them. That would be a great goal.